break against North Carolina Courage. Renee, let's look around the league because the big piece of news this week, Julie Ertz, a, a veritable legend with the U.S. Women's National Team, one of the great midfielders of her generation. She has come back to the NWSL and she will suit up for Angel City FC, which is quickly becoming the go-to place for the stars, the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. Now it's just about turning it into results for them. What does Julie Ertz add to that team? She adds a lot. She adds veteran leadership. She adds, as a player that has international Olympic and, and championship experience, adds some of that extra swagger that the team is looking for. And for her, coming back after having Matt and Matthew back in August at 31 years old, this team gives her a chance to be supported in her journey back, give her opportunities as she's trying to get back into the national team roster, and also help them turn a corner as she can be the staple in the midfield that they need. Yep, uh, another new mother in uh, the NWSL. So great to see Ali Long and maybe get all the kids together at some point. Uh, it, it, there's a youth movement right now in this league. Uh, for the first time, we're seeing teenagers come through. The age limit dropped. And when you talk about Angel City, Alyssa Thompson, the number one pick in the draft straight out of high school, kind of the leader of that movement. How important is it for young players like that to have the same opportunity as men to play professionally as teenagers? Well, it's interesting because we see it in other sports. You know, when you look at tennis, ice skating, um, a variety of other sports, they have teenagers that are playing at the professional level. And in men's soccer, we're already seeing it. It just wasn't happening in U.S. women's soccer. And now to give players that opportunity to be challenged. If you're in high school and you're Alyssa Thompson, you're not getting challenged in a high school or even a club game. So now to be challenged at a level you are able to compete at, but also helps change the game that you have 15-year-olds that are playing it up against players that are old enough to be their mom essentially, and also have an opportunity to continue to grow and mature at the highest level possible. Yeah, and uh, Alyssa Thompson, she was playing with boys in MLS Next before she came over uh, to NWSL this season, off to a great start for Angel City. Uh, also going on around the league, the Challenge Cup. Uh, for the very first time, it's in mid-season. This was originally the COVID-19 bubble tournament back in Utah in June of 2020. Became a preseason tradition because it was so well received. And now, for the first time, it's going to happen on midweeks. And then the last three group games will take place during the Women's World Cup. Got them off to a great start. They beat Washington on Wednesday night. They're going to play Washington, Orlando, and North Carolina home and home. North Carolina won it last year, and the players really care about this. There's a big prize money purse at the end of the line, too. Well, another addition to the league that just adds something extra for players. We talk about the change in having younger players able to compete in the NWSL. Well, also, this is another thing that allows players to compete outside of their usual regular season games and opportunities to be able to win some hardware. And for the Courage last season, they won it in 2022. And it just gives you something extra to play for that during the international break, you still have players that are playing meaningful games, still winning and hoping to win some hardware for their team. Yeah, mid-season tournaments like this, it's a standard in soccer around the world and in men's soccer in the U.S. I know Christy Mewis talked about how she really likes the idea of getting to play in another tournament. How much incentive is that for you as a player to stay sharp and, and to get different opportunities like that? Well, the key is the regular season is so long. And you talk about, uh, as you get further into the months, that you have the mental wear, the physical wear. So this keeps you fresh. This gives you some small victories. And we as athletes love that because it mentally allows you to have something to look forward to that you're training towards. So the Challenge Cup, not only for the players, but also for the fans, gives you some extra excitement around the game that is so needed. And I know we've talked about this before, to help grow the game and help grow the league. Yeah, really exciting stuff. And Gotham, top of their group after the first game. When we come back, we'll